How's it going, guys? And welcome to Level Up, a new series where, you know what, you know what? See if you can figure it out. Can you figure it out from the name of the series? Ah, I can't keep a cigarette that long, I'm going to tell you. So this is a road to level 50. Uh, in these videos, I'm going to be, every, every game that I play, uh, I will be providing highlights. You'll see any purchases that I make, any times that I level up and things like that. Uh, how much credits I get at the end of the games, because uh, we've had a lot of people ask. This was actually suggested last night doing a road to level 50 at, at the Tuesday night live stream. So uh, I can't remember your name. I can't remember who said it out, but thank you to whoever shared out this idea, because uh, this was awesome. So you'll be seeing any credits and things that I learned. I was getting a lot of questions about uh, how long does it take for you to get level 50? How many hours, how many games did I play? Well, I thought, you know what? Let's start again. So, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Erotic Tension. Now, this is a new PSN account I've used. This will only be used for level up playthroughs. Uh, I'm not sure if we're going to be doing this on uh, any other games. Uh, we, we might have a look. We'll see. We maybe maybe we'll do something on a um, uh, on a different account. I'm not too sure. But for now, you've probably all figured out that I, I'm well into Star Wars Battlefront at the moment. So, we're going to be sticking to that. Uh, and I chose the name Erotic Tension purely for the entertainment, knowing that whenever I kill someone, it's going to come up, you were killed by Erotic Tension. Uh, and that... <laughs> My immaturity is shining through. So, of course, we've started off with no unlocks. This is level one. Uh, and, uh, you know, we start off on the Imperials on Endor. We came in pretty much at the very start of the game. I was pretty happy with that. Uh, of course, we're using the E11. That is the starting off gun for the Imperials. Uh, I'm going to be using this uh, skin until I get up to level 40, whatever it is to take the uh, to get the uh, sniper trooper. What's what you call it? You know what I'm on about the scout trooper. Uh, however long it takes to get that skin, because I refuse to use helmetless stormtroopers. I refuse. I will only use a stormtrooper if he's wearing a helmet or oh, slash she. Sorry, sorry. But uh, yeah, this game was. Uh, you know, I I struggled a bit right at the beginning because you can't come flying into this game anymore. You have nothing to protect you. And for some stupid reason, I had a partner's hand there, and I was not using it and I have no idea why I was not using it it was um, it was always sat there once I did that really opened up my games um, but then I had to I still it was still a little off because I still I didn't have my hand and I, I didn't have any personal shields uh, eventually in the next game we got the uh, we got the scan pulse however even with that uh, it's we only get one use because it's your partner's hand uh, eventually as you can see we did get Boba Fett however I, I tended to have a shocker I think what happened was I, I needed to play back I couldn't be as aggressive as, as, as I normally would be uh, in the Walker Assault game because I didn't have the personal shields or anything like that so I, I hung back a little bit sort of like I did when I was doing the RT weapon review uh, you know, and then I'd, I'd scan out the area, just was really trying to play for kills, only really going for uplinks when I knew it was going to be safe, and that wasn't very often, so then what happened was I got Boba Fett, and I think I just went, oh my god, I can finally go crazy again, and I could not go crazy again, I just went a little too, little too full on, uh, and, then just, and then just got absolutely nailed, and so I needed to, uh, I needed to be a bit more patient, uh, and that doesn't mean completely hanging back. That means with heroes, it means once I get the cards, it means I need to just be careful. Stop pushing for uplinks as much as I am, uh, and just pick off enemies where I can. But still, we managed to get 37 and 21 with a score of 7,300, so not not too bad, not too bad. I think we get up to level 3 in this game, uh, and that was, uh, you know, for first game, I, th I thought that was, it was okay. I was pretty happy with that. I would have liked to get maybe a little higher, but, um, but that's part of the learning curve. So that's, uh, remember guys as well, I know the maps, I know where things are, I know how they're played, and what people generally going to do so uh, it may take you a little bit it's going to take you a bit longer if this is your first playthrough uh, your first time going through Star Wars Battlefront it, it is going to be a bit longer you are going to need to learn the maps going to need to learn what people do where the uplinks are the surroundings around the uplinks things like that uh, in the second game uh, I played for like a minute and then straight away got another hero pick up with Han Solo but, but then went too far the other way and thought you know that first game I just went crazy I need to be more patient and this one was was a little too patient so you can see me trying to use cover a lot I'd already taken a few shots and the shots on Han Solo uh, are just going to damage us straight away so you can see down the bottom of there I'm already on level uh, on health 67 which is uh, which is not good that's not where you really want to be starting out on but uh, this is a map that I was never really too good at uh, until recently I think I've figured out the formula uh, for playing solo on solo so you got to remember I'm not playing with friends or anything like that and generally I'm playing by myself and so I can't use teammates and I can't use teamwork strategies to help me uh, pick up those big scores and so I need to I need for each map I need to figure out a way that I can play it by myself as well as picking up a good score uh, unfortunately for this map that means not playing the objective too well uh, it basically means I want to be pushing forward ahead of the objective and playing a defensive strategy on the uplink um, rather than, you know, keeping the uplink activated or deactivated. So what I want to be doing is I need to be picking up as many uh, pick-hip pickups as I can, including hero pickups, of course. Uh, 
and that includes uh, especially A-Wings and X-Wings. So on this map, uh, vehicles are a massive deal, massive deal. So they are going to be your biggest line of attack uh, against the AT-80s, uh, as well as defense against the TIE Fighters, which is really going to help you. Uh, if you can uh, if you can get rid of TIE Fighters heading in the third uplink, that means none of them are going to spawn. You could come in on snow speeders. Uh, if you're working on the ground, trying to pick off ATSTs and just keep them focused, uh, either destroyed or focused away from your um, snow speeders, then uh, you're able to trip the walkers, and it's, it's all from the sky. So really what I'm trying to do here, you can see the uplinks are behind me. I'm trying to get ahead of my uplinks. I'm trying to flank my opposition on the ground, uh, and then surely you will see what is possibly like the most awesome uh, A-Wing run ever. The only problem with my A-Wing run here, you can see it's just about to come up now, uh, is that I, I clipped a, a bit of a rock face as I was coming into attack, I think, on my first... Um, on my first uh, just strafing run against a bit of infantry, so I've taken out a few TIE fires and things like that, and you'll see that I, I clip a bit of a rock wall, so uh, I think it's one of those things, one thing I really need to practice when it comes to the A-Wings, and one thing hopefully you'll see me practicing throughout this series, is uh, is making sure that if I'm coming in for a strafing run, to switch to first person, because that's going to get me a much better view as to how close I am to the ground, because you can see if I pull up here, boom, the camera starts to peel back a bit, and I don't get as good a perspective on how close I am to the, to the ground, or any rock faces, or anything like that that I'm trying to get away from. Um, but here we go. So the, uh, the we're moving in with the A-Wings. This is going to be your biggest... This is You really want to stay alive, as in, if you've got an, uh, no way the A-Wing pickups up. This is actually my second run uh, in an A-Wing in this game. I'd been taken down, spawned, went straight to where I knew there would be another A-Wing pickup, and boom, I was straight back in again. Uh, but I want to be doing as much damage to those walkers at the second set of uplinks, just as the last line of defense if we don't manage to get to the snow speeders up at the end. Uh, but really, I want to be staying alive, and I want to be staying alive as much as possible to make sure that there are no TIE Fighters or no TIE Interceptors at the end, uh, as well as taking out any ATSTs in the third set of uplinks to ensure that uh, our snow speeders are able to trip them uh, without copying any, uh, you know, any attacks. Because the, at the third set of uplinks, any game can be won with those snow speeders by tripping the AT-ATs. Uh, and so I want to be making sure that there's nothing going to destroy those snow speeders. And the AT-ATSTs -AT uh, are the are your main enemy when it comes to that. They're the biggest thing that are going to wreck you. Infantry are not really any problem. The uh, snow speeders are actually going to provide the best blast radius for strafing runs. And so if you are aiming to take out infantry from the skies, uh, the snow speeders are your best chance of doing that. Uh, so I really want to be staying alive and protecting my airspeeds for the next one. Here we go. Bang! There we go. Just clipped the rock face right there. Uh, that was uh, that was very frustrating. It took me down to 58, and I probably would have survived a lot longer if I hadn't done that. So that's where I need to be focusing on switching to first person. But uh, I think I got my head back in the game a little bit there, but unfortunately, just copped it. I caught one rocket. I used a wrong move, so you'll see here I go through and boom. I was a bit more careful my strafe and run, taking down an ATST here. I have a rocket come onto me, uh, and then instead of, uh, instead of, there we go, look, I use a backflip. I shouldn't have done that. I should have either waited a little longer, switched left or right. That probably would have dodged it. I would have been okay, but that's taken me down to 13. Uh, and I was pretty much done there, only shot and I was practically gone, so I wanted to use my shields a bit more carefully. Still trying to take out some infantry and things like that, but ATSTs are always going to wreck me at this point, so uh, I left a little late, I used the wrong move, I need to be a bit more careful there. So once we're finished here, I head back down the infantry, and at the last set of uplinks, I'm going to stick to the left. I always seem to go back to the right for some reason, the uplink that you can see me at right now. Uh, I need to go back to the left uplink, that's my best chance to get more kills, it's my best chance to push uh, and provide a safer flank. Uh, to get me a bigger score and to help me level up quicker. Um, and so, you know, I really wanted to push that side, but I was just getting nailed. There was too much, too many stormtroopers over there. Uh, and by the time that I, you know, by the time that I managed to push through, I died again, respawned back on this side, uh, and the AT-ATs were damageable. And so it was, uh, it was all about the end game now. Uh, but we can see we did pretty, we did a little better in that game. 39 and 14 with a score of 9,600. That's a much better score. That's much more like it, of course. Though, so let's have a look. I think we got up to just close to level six in this game. So that's two levels, almost up to rank six. Uh, which is not bad. It's not bad. I reckon we do pretty well. So there's a few lessons I need to learn from here. That's with the first person, the A-Wings, making sure that I use all my pickups and things like that. I need to hang back, make sure to use my partner's uh, star cards. And uh, yeah, for, for that, I'll see you in the next one, guys. TK out. Have a good one.